Now let's create a copy of this at least uh, four more. So click and then CO, enter. And let's specify this as our base point. So make sure your object snap is toggled on. So click on the end point as your base point. And then type A for array. Okay. So let's type A and then enter. And then AutoCAD prompts you to specify number of items to array. So of course we need uh, four more. So we type five. Okay. So four plus the original it makes it five. And then enter. And specify second point. And you choose your point. I'll just uh, zoom out so that you could see. So anywhere. Just provide some ample space. So that would be good. And then escape to finish the command. And let's re-invoke again this blind command. So type SPL. Enter. Okay. So we are now on the CV method. And by default, CV spline method is created with a 3 degree curve. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a 3 degree CV spline by using each endpoint of this polyline as our control uh, vertices. Okay. So start from here and so on until you cover all the endpoints of your. Oh, I missed there. So just uh, click undo. So you enter. So make make sure that you click on the endpoint to make a comparison later on with the other splines. So you may need to zoom in so that uh, you would uh, click on the endpoint themselves. Then click and then enter. So that is our three degree spline let's re-invoke it again by hitting your enter keys and then this time let's change the degree so type d enter and so again by default it's three and let's change it to two okay so type two and then enter and the same let's create this spline with the second polyline so same process using every endpoint of this polyline as our control vertices so again make sure that you are precise by uh, zooming in onto your polylines and snap to the endpoints and there we have another cb spline created as a two degree spline Let's try to move it closer to this uh, geometry. So M, enter, so that we could compare. So you would see now that the 2 degree CB spline has more sharp curves as compared to the smoother curves of the 3 degree. Okay, so increasing the degree of the CB spline would make it almost flat so spl enter let's try to change the degree again b enter and let's type 10 and let's try here then enter so you would see there it's almost straight now now let's try the fit point so spl again enter and then let's change the method so m enter Let's change it into fit point method. And on the fit point method, we could change the nuts. Okay. This is how the fit points will be interpolated by AutoCAD. So click on nuts. We could uh, select either chord, square root, or uniform. But of the three, square root has smoother curve. So let's try first the chord. And use again the endpoints of the polyline as our fit points. And then enter. 
And this time, SPL again, enter. Let's change the NAT using square root. So click on square root. And then follow again the endpoints of your polyline as your pit point location. And again, SPL, enter, nuts, let's change it to uniform. Then enter. And let's uh, bring them closer to each other. So we created this using the chord nut, the square root nut, and the uniform nut. There's not much of a difference, but the square root has better curves as compared to the two. It's more centered as compared to the other two. So it's your option to choose among the options of spline to use on your geometry, especially for contour lines and other organic forms. By the way, when you change the degree of uh, CV spline into one, it will become a jagged line similar to our polyline. So let's try to copy this one. So CO, enter. And then move it a little here. And then SPL again, enter. Let's change the method. So M, enter, and type CV, enter. And then degree. We change the degree, so D, enter. Let's change it to 1, okay? Enter. And let's follow the endpoints of our polyline. Enter. So, there is your 1 degree CB spline. So, let's select. And then, you could change to fit point or control vertices let's move it this is a polyline and this is a spline as indicated by their uh, CB points and with its grip points for the polyline so again we could change this into a uh, Spline, so select and then right click, polyline edit, the curve. So I'm just using the shortcut menu by right clicking. Select first and then right click and then curve fit and then bring it back to the curve. And similarly, let's click this one click this particular contour line and then we could also edit this one okay so right click then spline you could convert it to a polyline so go ahead and click convert to polyline and now AutoCAD prompts you to specify a precision value and the default there is 10 okay so you could input a precision value from 0 to uh, 99 so let's just press escape first and let's copy first this spline so co enter and move it here okay and let's focus here so that it's much more closer and let's select the upper spline and then right click and then from spline convert again to polyline and Let's uh, type first the minimum of 0, okay? So, 0, enter, okay? So, this was converted into a polyline with a 0 uh, precision. So, let's click it. So, those are the grip points appearing already on our original spline. So, escape. And let's select the lower spline. And right-click again, spline, and then convert to polyline and this time let's type the maximum uh, precision value which is 99 and then enter 
and AutoCAD provides you a warning. Okay? So, using a precision value greater than 83 may cause performance problems. Do you want to continue? Of course, no. Okay? Especially if you have a slow system, uh, you cannot process the amount of uh, grip points that would appear onto your uh, converted spline. So, let's just enter no and then hit enter. And then, let's type instead of 83, let's type 10. Okay? So, 10. So, that it would be manageable if you have a uh, slower system. And then, enter. So, let's select first the upper spline which was created or converted into a polyline with a zero precision. And let's select the lower spline which was converted into a polyline with 10 precision. Okay? So, the more or I mean the higher value you input, uh, the more accurate the polyline resembles your original spline. However, you will be loaded with a lot of grip points and this will make your system lag. So that is for spline.